Good morning. <laughs> so, I look like I'm dying because I just woke up. And the only reason why I'm up is because Avery decided to wake up. So, good morning. <sighs> so, I got up and I had to throw myself together because we have a doctor's appointment. Ow, this heater is so hot. We have a doctor's appointment, but the great thing about that is that it's a virtual appointment. So the doctor wanted us to, um, last year, last year, Jesus Christ, you can tell I just woke up. Last month, um, for her nine month appointment, um, this was before, um, the whole virus, um, like really, they started shutting things down. Um, but the... We took her for her nine month at the pediatrician um, checkup and then um, she wanted to know if she was like cruising around the furniture, which she's not, um, or she wasn't at that point. Um, so the pediatrician asked us to bring her back because she wanted an update on how she was doing with that. So she told us not to put her in her walker or bouncer as much anymore. Like she wanted me to do some exercises with her, which I was like doing religiously. And then she started like standing up assisted so that's great she before didn't want to put any weight on her legs at all like if we put her down to stand up she would like froggy her legs and like would not want to put weight down on them so now she will put weight down on her legs which is super exciting i don't think there's anything wrong with her developmentally um or physically she just does things like slower like she'll reach her like milestone slower like she can roll over both ways she just chooses not to um so I don't want to say she's lazy, but she is super stubborn, so um, she does things when she wants, and she can do them, she just chooses not to. So, with that being said, um, the appointment was for today, but um, we're not going out, so the pediatrician called us yesterday, and um, her assistant asked if we wanted to do it online, so we're going to do a virtual call, which is going to be exciting i guess <laughs> i don't know it's gonna be weird i feel like but as long as we don't have to go out i'm good i also have this stuff on my face because i have dark marks and my skin is acting funny so we're trying to clear it you know living my best skin life this side is pretty clear but i don't know what's going on over here so i'm gonna go make myself tea because i've been drinking tea every morning and get breakfast which is gonna be a bagel which i'm super excited about i have cramps right now which is not fun but they're not as bad as before i gave birth my cramps used to be so bad anyway so i don't know what i'm gonna do for the rest of the day we'll see i'm probably gonna have to edit because i was trying to edit yesterday okay so the tea that i'm gonna make is this earth mama tea um I don't know. I know that when you're pregnant, you're supposed to watch the teas that you drink. So I don't know if, if the same applies for breastfeeding. I know you can have like coffee, so I don't see why you wouldn't be able to have certain teas. I'm not sure. I can understand it during pregnancy. I'm not sure about um, when you're breastfeeding. But just to be on the safe side, I'm going to drink this one just because it's like also tastes good. I think this is the last one I have anyway. I also have another like pregnancy tea that like you can drink um, so I'll probably go on to that one but when I was pregnant my sister-in-law actually got me a bunch of teas which look bomb um, I just didn't drink them when I was pregnant because I was scared but now that I am not anymore I want to dive into those because they look really good she got me a bunch of chai teas which chai tea just sounds so warm in my heart shout out to Amber because she got me a bunch of teas and I'm like, I still have them and I'm super excited. But this specific one, um, what I like about it is that they have like these nice little quotes on it. This one says, it's a new normal and it's a good thing. Like they just have these cute little quotes. So I'm going to make myself my tea, eat myself my little bagel. I made myself my own strawberry preserves and I made it in February. Um, I didn't try it till like the other day, uh, her dad and my parents actually tried some in February. I made it for Valentine's Day. But um, I didn't try it till the other day and it's so good. I want to make another batch of strawberry preserves because it, it's like, it's so good. And it's not like full of sugar. I know exactly what's in it. It was super easy to make and it just tastes so delicious. It smells so good. Oh my God, I'm going to have this with my bagel today. Mm. So Avery's been doing this thing where she like plays hide and seek with whatever she can. <laughs> it's 
So she loves playing, like she'll cover herself with the bed sheets. So now she's doing it with the tablecloth. <laughs> and it's the most adorable thing. slicing my bagel in half and the top half decided to fall like you know how there's a smooth side of the bagel and there's like the bready side I mean it's all bread but you know what I'm talking about so it decided to fall open face down into this wet sink you know how disappointing that is I'm still gonna eat it though I I took a, a I ended up taking a bread knife and like slicing off that thin layer that got wet, which sounds disgusting. And then I'm putting it in the toaster. Because I'm not letting it go to waste, you know. But I was upset. I wasn't planning on eating my bagel toasted, but you know what? Now that it's out of the toaster, it actually smells pretty good, so. Ow. Oh, and it's really hot. Okay. It smells good. It's like not super toasted, you know, just like a little crisp. And now it's warm, so it got soft. So we're gonna slap some butter and some strawberry preserves on here and call it a day. You, my friend, are still having the time of your life over here. Hi. Hi. Avery. Where's Avery? <gasps> there she is. <laughs> you gotta make the best out of bad situations because if not, you're gonna be so miserable and upset. So, yes, my bagel fell into the sink. But you know what? Now I have a toasted bagel. And it's going to be even better than I was planning on eating it before, right? We're still going to have a beautiful day. Right, Avery? We're still going to make the most of it. It's a beautiful Friday. And this bagel is going to be so good. So filling. So satisfying. We're going to have ourselves a grand old time, you know? Let's not judge how much butter I put because, um, let's not. Ooh, this is so good. God bless you. God bless you, my love. Hello. Wait, how do I get out of this? Okay. <laughs> Hello. How are you? She's good. Uh, come here. Yes. Did you work on that? Yeah, so... No more boobies. <laughs> she said no more boobies. No more boobies. I don't know. I don't know how to say no more boobies for the baby. No more boobies for the baby. No more boobies for the baby. No more, no more, no more, no more, no more boobies for the baby. Well, you heard that? The doctor told me to try to limit on breastfeeding and I don't know how I feel about that and that's a scary thought. And we're not ready. We're not ready. I don't like that. <laughs> oh, we're not starting that today, Avery. I'm sorry. You wanna go you wanna go for you wanna go um breastfeeding? Alright, well that was that. And um Stop trying to pull my cables. Mm, I'm gonna have to think about this one all day. We'll see how that works. So, I haven't grabbed the camera for a while. Um, updates. <laughs> so, um, pretty much, I ended up going online to BJ's to order groceries for pickup for tomorrow because they're not doing online delivery nowhere in our area there is no grocery store in our area that is doing online orders or like delivery which is super annoying but um it is what it is so we're either gonna have to go to the grocery store ourselves and like shop or the convenience of just like ordering and then being able to just like go pick it up. So that's what we're gonna have to do tomorrow. 
super annoying because with BJ's for example um, for in-store pickup you can order like everything online except like meat um, cheese I guess anything that could perish they won't do in in-store pickup so you're gonna have to like go pick up the groceries that you chose but then go inside the store and walk around and get your meat and stuff anyway which is super annoying so I don't know what we're gonna do about that. I don't know if we're gonna have to go to the store and like a different store and just get meat ourselves or what we're gonna do, but it's just frustrating. But Avery's currently napping right now, so I'm gonna take advantage of this time and I don't really have many dishes to do but like the plate that I just used um, when I ate lunch. So I'm gonna go and try to sweep and mop and stuff like that because She's sleeping. It's the perfect opportunity to get stuff done. I could have taken a nap with her because I was almost asleep there trying to get her to sleep, but um, here we are. Sweeping is a constant thing on a constant daily basis. Like any food or anything that we give this child, she crumbles it up and throws it on the floor, so we constantly have crumbs on the floor and then when we transfer her from one place to another they seem to like fall off of her so there's just crumbs everywhere all the time this is my favorite part and that's the end